Israel and Hamas have been locked in a bitter conflict for decades. This conflict has deep historical roots and has seen numerous escalations over the years. This conflict centers around the Gaza Strip, a small Palestinian territory that has been a focal point of tension and violence. Israel occupied Gaza in 1967 after a war, marking a significant turning point in the region's history. This occupation has had lasting impacts on the political and social landscape of Gaza. Hamas, a Palestinian militant group, gained control of Gaza in 2007. Their rise to power has been marked by internal strife and external conflict. They have fought several wars since then, each conflict leaving behind a trail of destruction and loss. The cycle of violence has been relentless. These wars have caused immense suffering for people on both sides. Civilians, including women and children, have borne the brunt of the violence, living in constant fear and uncertainty. Many attempts have been made to achieve peace. International diplomats have frequently intervened, hoping to broker a lasting resolution. However, negotiations have repeatedly failed. The peace talks often end in stalemate, with both sides unable to agree on key issues. The core issues remain unresolved. These include territorial disputes, security concerns, and mutual distrust. These issues include the status of Jerusalem, which holds religious and cultural significance for both Israelis and Palestinians, and the plight of Palestinian refugees who have been displaced for generations. Another critical issue is the borders of a future Palestinian state. The lack of agreement on these borders continues to fuel tensions and hinder the peace process. The path to peace remains fraught with challenges, but the hope for a resolution endures. Gaza is one of the most densely populated places on Earth. With over two million people living in a narrow strip of land, the population density is staggering. Every inch of space is utilized, and the streets are always bustling with activity. The sheer number of people in such a confined area creates numerous challenges for daily life. It is also one of the poorest. Many families live below the poverty line, struggling to make ends meet. The lack of economic opportunities has left countless individuals without a stable source of income. Homes are often in disrepair, and the living conditions are harsh, with many lacking basic amenities. The ongoing conflict has devastated its infrastructure. Years of violence have left buildings in ruins and roads impassable. The destruction is visible everywhere, from schools to hospitals, making it difficult for residents to access essential services. Rebuilding efforts are slow and often hampered by the continuing instability. The economy is in ruins. Unemployment is rampant. Businesses have shuttered, and markets that were once vibrant are now deserted. The lack of job opportunities has forced many to rely on humanitarian aid to survive. Long lines of people can be seen daily, hoping to find work or receive assistance. Basic services like electricity and clean water are scarce. Power outages are frequent, and many homes go without electricity for hours or even days. Access to clean water is limited, forcing residents to collect water from public taps. These shortages add to the daily struggles faced by the people of Gaza. The people of Gaza are trapped in a cycle of poverty and violence. Children are particularly vulnerable. Growing up in such an environment has profound effects on their physical and mental well-being. Many children play in the rubble of destroyed buildings, and families often live in makeshift shelters, lacking the security of a permanent home. They have known nothing but war and hardship. The constant threat of violence has left deep scars on the younger generation. Their daily lives are marked by fear and uncertainty, with little hope for a brighter future. Education is disrupted, and the trauma of conflict is a constant companion. The international community has provided aid to Gaza. Humanitarian organizations work tirelessly to deliver food, medical supplies, and other essential items. Aid trucks regularly arrive, bringing much needed relief to the beleaguered population. However, the scale of the crisis means that this aid is often just a temporary fix. But this aid is not enough to address the root causes of the crisis. 
sustainable solutions are needed to break the cycle of poverty and violence. Community leaders and activists continue to call for peace and long-term strategies to rebuild Gaza. The hope is that one day, the people of Gaza can live in a stable and prosperous environment, free from the shadows of conflict. The United States has long been involved in the Israeli-Palestinian conflict. It is considered an important mediator by both sides. However, the U.S. has often been accused of bias towards Israel. This has strained its relationship with the Palestinians. In recent weeks, the U.S. has intensified its efforts to broker a ceasefire between Israel and Hamas. Secretary of State Antony Blinken has been leading these efforts. He has met with leaders from both sides. The U.S. is pushing for a negotiated settlement. Blinken's mission is fraught with challenges. Trust between Israel and Hamas is almost non-existent. Both sides have preconditions for talks. Hamas demands an end to the blockade of Gaza. Israel insists on the release of its citizens held captive by Hamas. Blinken is trying to find common ground. He is urging both sides to show restraint. He is also calling on them to make concessions. The U.S. believes that a negotiated solution is the only way to achieve lasting peace. Section 5, The Hostage Dilemma, a major roadblock. The issue of hostages held by Hamas is a major obstacle to negotiations. Hamas captured several Israeli civilians and soldiers during the recent conflict. They are demanding a prisoner swap for their release. Israel refuses to negotiate with terrorists. The families of the hostages are desperate for their return. They have appealed to both sides to show compassion. The hostage crisis has heightened tensions. It has made it more difficult to create a climate conducive to talks. Section 6. Hamas's Demands. A path to recognition? Hamas is designated as a terrorist organization by many countries, including the U.S. and Israel. This designation has significant implications for international relations and the dynamics of the Middle East conflict. They view the current negotiations as an opportunity to gain legitimacy. For Hamas, being recognized as a legitimate political entity could transform their standing on the global stage and potentially alter the course of the Israeli-Palestinian conflict. They are demanding an end to the blockade of Gaza and recognition as the legitimate representatives of the Palestinian people. The blockade has had severe humanitarian impacts, affecting the daily lives of millions in Gaza, limiting access to essential goods, and stifling economic growth. Israel is highly unlikely to meet these demands. The Israeli government maintains a firm stance against Hamas, citing security concerns and the group's history of violence. They view Hamas as an existential threat. The frequent rocket attacks and militant activities originating from Gaza have led to a state of constant vigilance and fear among Israeli citizens. They accuse Hamas of using the people of Gaza as human shields. This tactic, according to Israel, complicates military operations and increases civilian casualties, further fueling the cycle of violence and mistrust. They are also concerned about Hamas's ties to Iran. Iran's support for Hamas includes financial aid, military training, and weaponry, which exacerbates regional tensions and complicates peace efforts. The international community remains divided on how to address Hamas's demands. Some advocate for engagement and dialogue, believing that inclusion could lead to moderation while others insist on maintaining pressure and isolation to curb their influence. Amidst these geopolitical maneuvers, the people of Gaza continue to suffer. Humanitarian aid is crucial, but it is often insufficient to meet the needs of a population caught in the crossfire of a protracted conflict. The path to recognition for Hamas is fraught with challenges and complexities. Whether through negotiation or continued resistance, the future remains uncertain and the quest for peace continues. Section 7. Israel's Concerns. Security and Distrust. 
Israel's primary concern is its own security. They have fought numerous wars with Hamas. They believe that Hamas is committed to their destruction. They are wary of any agreement